They yeah. play the game so differently. Yeah, they're, they're definitely the go-to specialists of these characters. <coughs> you know, you have a lot of uh, really good players, uh, you know, Umeki, Upkeeps, or Daisy specialists. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Razo here in SoCal in his own right that Nico does get to play quite often. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he's looking forward to seeing what the difference in that uh, mm -hmm. can and be. And Nico definitely has run into Samsora as well. So Nico should have a little bit of experience under his belt. But remember, this is Umeki after all. He's an entirely different breed of these players around. He's testing out the headset, make sure it's all ready to go. Oh, I like his controller. Yeah, Daisy. All right. This should be an interesting, this is gonna be a really interesting match. This is, it's such an honor to be able to cast these matches at a local with all these players coming yeah. into, and this is just pools, first of all. Like, this is crazy to see. Yeah, like, I believe this is to make it out of the pool, mm -hmm. at least. On winner's side. Yes, yes. To make it into our top 12, I believe. Mm -hmm. Top 16, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is top 16 qualifying. Yeah, so definitely these paid players <laughs> want to make it forward. Ah, there. So hopefully we got a match coming in. Ooh, Meki versus Nico. Yeah, no. Daisy and, and Future Daisy, they've always kind of had this history where swords are kind of cast hard for them. You know, they have really good combos, really good, all that. But they don't have a lot of range. Mm -hmm. They have kind of a hard time getting in uh, on some of these characters. So if Nico's able to space his sword properly, he could a stitch? Just <laughs> Already? Hello? Yep. And Umeki's holding on to it. He knows what's in his hand. But Nico says, I'm just going to knock it off, honestly. I don't want to see this on my screen. Mm -hmm. And Stitch throwing away just like that. And like you said earlier, this can be very hard for, Geech and, uh, for Peach and Daisy due to the fact that they lack the range. And Shulk is one of those characters who can go in and hit you up with these range attacks. But remember, it only takes one conversion from Umeki to really take it because not only can they get in with these crazy combos, Umeki needs to keep into mind that Nico can simply use Shield Monado during those combo strings to get him out for free. Yeah, and that fair reach was so high, Umeki must have thought he was safe with how high he was floating, but he wasn't Nico able to catch him, put, switch into the Shield Art, and end this up. Another, Another one? Umeki gets got two. two. It's been less than a minute, and he gets two. That's crazy. I think less than a minute. I don't even know anymore. Do they have RNG in Japan? Is that an American thing? Do, we, do only we have that? No, no, Hero, remember? They're oh, used yeah. to that. They're used to oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been playing Dragon <laughs> Quest since day one, man. They they know about all the RNG. OG, OG Dragon Quest mains, but here we go. These aerials from Nico are providing a lot of trouble, but oh, rages of the Nair from Umeki. Oh. Because I think another thing that makes it really difficult for Peach and Daisy is they want to use their float cancel aerials to wall them out, but it's choked. He walls you out with these aerials. Exactly. You're not going to be able to, you know, approach with back airs and beat out. So oh. oh, and smash killed him at like 60 with the smash on. Yeah, that's the power of it. And remember, Peach and Daisy aren't the aren't the heaviest characters as well. So he's able to get that damage off. And we're seeing Omeki. He's trying to go for these float cancel aerials. But Niku simply says, I'm just going to use my own and force you in these situations where I can simply tomahawk you for free and get away with it. Oh, he's able to finally find something. Once for a grab, but Umeki using a float cancel Nair into the grab. Great conversion. He went for the up smash, unable to find anything. Yeah, Nico gonna cancel out the shield right there. Realizes he really can't move that well until he gets out of it. Okay, screaming. Anyways. He was trying to find something out of that bear, and the up smash actually was able to come out just in time. Oh. I'm just waiting. I I'm literally just waiting for another stitch to come out. Uh, you shouldn't have looked away. Now there's an extra <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. This is Japan. They get they get their own hero. They get that RNG up. Yeah, it should. Oh, he missed the opportunity. But he's able to find something out of it. And is a comeback that can happen. Umeki's be the one. And here comes the winking face. Here comes for a little more damage. He gets away from the aerial, but great mix up on the recovery. Umeki learned the hard way from that first knock is that you can't use that parasol that far away from the ledge. Yeah, you have to go straight for the ledge off. Nico is going to be able to take your stock away from you. And Nico, little head nods. Yeah, of course I could. Yeah, that makes sense. No, it's just the fact that Umeki, I don't think he's used to really able to grab onto the ledge. Yeah. Because he thinks he can get on there for free. But Nico with the smash art was ready three, all three times that Umeki tried to go back on. 
maybe not go back onto the ledge directly. He, he's hook a smash shot directly to the face, but I think what really spelled the game out was Nico with an incredible read on the second stock to kill Umeki at 60% with yeah. that fully charged that smash. Yeah, Nico's playing phenomenally right now, just moving around his arts, perfectly timing them, uh, just really able to keep control of the game whenever he wants. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Game number two. Will Nico close it out here and move on past pools? Or will Umeki move back to a game number three? All right, Nair to the dash check, quick 32 right now, and already on the buster, looking to make it even more damage. But of course, while he has buster out, he is going to be taking more damage as well. Yeah, but as soon as you say that, Umeki gives him 71 and catch him with the upper and the fair as well. That's the nurse you're talking about, and that's what Umeki needs to go. He needs to go more aggressive for these opportunities because he's got to take a stock, and Smash Art's available! What? That killed? Smash or up tilt, killed on town at like 80%. This kid's so good, dude. Yeah, he's and Nico is so good, obviously. Uh -huh. It's Nico with this Shulk, they able to do so well. You know, he's been taking locals left and right for a reason. He's one of he's, he's one of- He's been top five in SoCal since the release of Ultimate. Mm -hmm. He's able to pull this off and hopefully he's got something else to say. Here it comes, he tried to go for an aerial or two, but I didn't find anything. Oh, goodness. In the shield contention. And here comes the speed Monado once more. He switched to, sh to speed and just teleport to the other side of the stage. <laughs> that's, the, that's the power of it. And here comes the Nair as well. Gets that fair away from him in the bear as well. But this time, Umeki a little more patient with himself. Oh, look at these aerial conversions from Nico. Tries to get the back air as well, but I didn't have to find anything. Buster back on. 61, 71, 79. He's got Smash Rider R out. Nico, you better not finish that stock so fast. Leave this man alone. God. That's crazy. So, I'm just in awe of everything Nico's doing, but unfortunately, that was not the thing to be in awe of. Unfortunately, he did up be in a bad spot and get punished, but lose his stock. But now, Umeki has to be very careful. Oh, that was such a gamble. You saw that. You saw that Umeki was willing to try to use that fair. Wow, Nico had Smash Mato up, and this time, that's when you want to delay your recovery just like that to yeah. force Nico away from you. But Buster Art's available, 121%. He needs to be careful of it. 131. So much damage being exerted. Up in his shield fails. No follow up, but he actually just stared at him. He shield does Monado. Get, he does get the grab, but the combo is immediately canceled out by the yellow art. With that shield art, forcing him off. And look at these aerial pressures from Nico. He's able to get away with it. Oh my god, down here almost killed, actually. Yeah, shield poking as well. It's very dangerous. Looks for a turnip into the nail, but doesn't fire a photo. Gonna kill from mm. stage, even with that art active. That's the pressure he's able to exert, and here come the aerial strings. It's when you start fearing these aerials, that's when you start getting grabbed out, and Nico. Is no slouch on these mix-ups and that down air forcing him to nothing. Umeki thought he had something with that down air, but it was actually Nico who was able to escape it and get a combo of his own. Look at these aerial pressures coming in. He's pressing him no so much. Oh, Nico, you wouldn't. Umeki had no jump there. Nico did his best to try and finish him off. But that's going to be a punish of forward air, but he's not dead even with the R active. And jump Monado's back up. And he's got shield back up, so he's going to actually stay safe for now. Here comes the down air, but Umeki... Carefully spaces out his float, and he gets the conversion off it, but no kill just yet. Those nerfs hitting a little harder than it should, but he's got the vision counter. No way, Nico, you're crazy. Nico's so good, dude. What a counter that was. And that will be a 2-0 for Nico, advancing into a top 16 here over Umeki. On winner's side. Yeah.